What's up, what's up? Your boy Q Banks. Um, I'm here in Houston, Texas, doing a Q-Tip Fridays. You know, something different. At the same time, it's I've, I've been gone a while, but at the same time, it's, it's, it's it was needed. Mental health is very, very important. You know, I just need to actually escape a tad bit and just get 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 me right first. You know what I'm saying? So I'm back with this Q-Tip Fridays. Um, this Q-Tip Fridays is gonna be about, you know, don't be afraid to live in abundance. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, some people take it as being very superficial. You know, it's not needed. Be more minimal. You know, like ha have less. You shouldn't be doing that. It's not needed. But in reality, like it doesn't hurt you to have more. It really doesn't. Once you're actually entering abundance with a pure heart, good intentions, it doesn't hurt you. It doesn't hurt you. It can only benefit you. Why? Because now you have the ability to, for example, to travel more you know to travel more like you could actually you know go here and go there and go there interact with this person this person this person this person and then have more to talk about when it comes down to that experience you're you're, you're gaining all these experiences by now being able to travel more you know and when it comes to abundance the biggest thing when it comes to abundance um i look at is just being financially this having a, abundance of finances just find this financially sound in in a sense that it's not even a, a, a stress, you know? You can now be so stress-free about it that if you have friends that love to do the same thing but but they're not really there financially, yo, come on, like, don't. I don't care about your financial situation at the moment, I just want you to come along with me and enjoy the experience with me. That's all that I care about, that makes me happy, you know? So, at the same time, like, um, you have to, let's say embrace the fact that you want more because once you have more, you have more memories. You know, we're all gonna get old eventually and that kind of stuff and then all you have is just memories. So why not actually gain as much memories as possible? You know, obviously you could actually gain some memories by being in your, in your state the entire time, your entire life, but at the same time, like, yo, we live in a whole fucking world. A whole world, billions and billions and billions of people thousands of places like it's it's so many so many things to see and that kind of thing you know so why not actually gain those experiences by actually making sure that your finances are are secure and you're financially sound so you have the abundance of finance so you could actually now bring people along that also enjoy that same exact thing you know that's the cool part about it. And, and there's nothing wrong with trying to strive for that abundancy it's only right like we, we're, we're put on on this earth for the experience like literally for the experience to actually gain gain the experience of just like you know what kind of life do you want to live you know live life however you want to and everything but at the same time gain the most out of it as possible because we're only here for a certain amount of time you know so you got to actually take full advantage of it um some other things that actually help you when it comes to being a financially abundant is you get to give more you know you could actually do more charities you know give back more you could help more people get into a position to actually make them better off you know you might have a friend that you know want to start a business they pitch you a business plan and then cool like you have the abundance of finances now to help them fund whatever they want to do to now make you feel better but also put somebody else in a better position so don't make it don't make it feel like you shouldn't be striving for more you know more to me is great as long as you have a open mind and you actually plan on doing good with it if it ever came down to it you know i'm not saying like all of a sudden you have more now you're fucking doing a shit ton of drugs and this and that this and that like it doesn't make sense like it's not gonna really benefit a person that pretty much has has that that kind of mindset on trying to gain more um obviously it's benefiting them by m making them feel good but at the same time health wise it's, it's not gonna really help them but for a person that pretty much is coming off as um as wanting to do positive things positive things in life positive things to to, uh, to give back to the community positive things to give back to the team that they're a part of anything it only helps the situation you know so don't feel bad striving for more you know like um for example like I feel like a person, well, m me at least, and I also give this recommendation to a lot of people as well, like, I try to, I grinded 
2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, as hard as possible. Do I grind now as hard as I used to? Not really, but at the same time, like I feel like my foundation from, from all, of, all of those years actually got me to where I am today. So I don't have to grind as hard anymore, but at the same time, it's just as effective based on the backing and everything else that comes along with that. So I don't have to actually feel like, you know, I'm chasing a number or anything like that. I'm chasing just enough so I could actually afford my lifestyle. I could actually afford things that I find fun, things that I want to purchase, you know, things that can make me feel like I'm still living how I want to live, you know? So you don't ever have to feel like you're, you're chasing a number because once you feel like you're chasing a number, like, yo, like, I can't wait till I hit 500,000. Like, why? You know, like, always ask yourself that. Like, why are you chasing 500,000? Like, like, why 500,000? You know, a person is never going to know the actual number that, that they actually want to keep average in their bank account until they pretty much hit it and then see how stress-free things can be. But you, you're never going to know what number that is until you're actually just going along with the process and seeing how how easy things are, are getting over time. And if things are not stressing you out, then pretty much you kind of know your average on you're okay with, you know? If things are, if you still want more things, that bigger house, that, that fancier car and that kind of stuff, and you haven't got those things yet, yeah, grind a little bit harder, you know, get to a point that you could actually buy those things and still feel comfortable on how you're living and that, and that kind of shit. And then see like where your average account balances and that kind of shit. And then from there, you can see like, okay, I don't have to really grind as hard anymore. But at the same time, I have enough in my bank account to sustain me. Um, and now I actually can sit back and, and enjoy the fruits of my labor. Okay. Like, um, I don't feel like I grind as hard as I used to anymore, but at the same time, like, uh, I'm kind of past that grind stage. Like now, like nowadays I feel like I'm more of in the maintaining stage, you know, um, which means that like, you know, I could, if I grind hard, like, you know, if I grind hard on the charts one week, like I could fucking probably buy a car next week or some shit, you know? Um, if I don't, then I'm perfectly fine with that. Like, I could be perfectly fine. Like one thing that I, I want everyone to actually calculate is figure out your burn rate. Um, your burn rate is pretty much is, um, how long it takes you or how long can you sustain the current way on how you're living with, without working for so-and-so amount of time? As far as if you stop working and stop everything right now, what's your burn rate? As far as how much are you spending every single month and how long will that take to deplete? So how long can you last with your current cash flow and that kind of thing? Like if you were supposed to just like stop everything, just like cut everything out, how long do you think you could last with your expenses and your account balance and all these things? What's your burn rate? All right. My burn rate is about like five years, which means that if I stop everything that I'm doing right now, no more trading, no more teaching, no more nothing at all, no more businesses, I could live how I'm living like right now for the next five years and I'm chilling. Same trips, same cars, same house, same everything, same restaurants, same all that shit. And I feel like a person has to pretty much understand that concept, understand your burn rate. So gaining or trying to actually strive for, you know, living in abundance, you're only expanding your burn rate. You know, like if your burn rate is only two months and that's an issue, like you have to fucking keep on grinding. You know what I'm saying? If your burn rate is six, seven months, cool. All right. If your burn rate is two, three years, great. You know, you don't got to pretty much grind as hard compared to a person that burn rate is two weeks. You know, it gets rough, you know? So always try to keep that kind of thing in mind. Like it's, it's not hard to actually try to strive for abundance, but at the same time, like understand as to why you're striving for abundance. Like don't be scared of it. Don't try to make people talk you out of it. It's a great thing as long as you pretty much understand what to do with it while you're actually trying to gain that abundancy in life overall. You know what I'm saying? Because once you actually, you know, have that ability, I feel like, you know, the experiences are, are something to, to, to only talk about when you're old, to only tell about like, yo, listen, like I went here, I went here, I went here, I went here. Yeah. Yeah. I was your age at one point in time. I, I did this, 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 I did this. 
I don't want to be that grandpa that doesn't have nothing to talk about. You know what I'm saying? I got experiences. I met this person. Yeah, you know, like, I, I met this person across the world and blah, blah, blah. Like, we did this together. I went to this event. I threw this event. I met this person, this person. Like, experiences. Experiences. And, I, and striving for the abundance in finances opens all of those doors. Once those doors are open, opportunities open. You know, gratitude opens. Now you have the ability to help others, put yourself in a better position also. You have the, the opportunity to gain better health. I say opportunity because if you don't gain it while you are good on finances, then you'll never gain the ability. You know what I'm saying? So it's the fact that you have to understand that like, if you are not going to be healthier when the finances are good, then you're never going to be healthy then. You know what I'm saying? But you have the opportunity to do it though. You get me? So this is a Q-Tip Fridays. Thanks everybody for watching. Leave some feedback in the comments. It's been a while, but at the same time, I want to make sure that I drop all the gems as possible. Hopefully everybody can actually take every, everything in that we're talking about on this Q-Tip Fridays. And yeah, see y'all next time. Peace out.